Hi YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. So lovely to have you back here. And for those that are new, my name's Lucinda. This is Yellow Chic Road and got a very cool little video planned. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna battle these two minis out because they're both highly covetable um, mini bags, especially I feel like the Nano Speedy's picked up a bit more speed lately um, in YouTube land for sure. Um, I'll also link down, I did a bit of a review and is it worth it kind of video on this Nano Speedy and I'll link that down in the description box for y'all. But please like and subscribe and let's jump into the battle. So I thought first we'll focus on measurements because I always, I know when I'm buying a new bag, I always want to know measurements. So I've got the trusty tape measure out. So let's commence with the Chanel mini rectangular. Um, so if we were to have a look at the length, we're looking at about 21 centimeters, which is about eight inches. Um, the depth is about two and a half inches and seven centimeters. Uh, and the height of the bag was sitting at about 12 centimeters or just under, well, four and a half inches, let's just say. So this guy here is a pretty nifty little size. Um, the Nano Speedy almost looks comically small, but let's measure her up. So we've got about 16 centimeters long, which is about six inches. We're sitting at a width. Let's go width first. So sort of from the base, we've got four inches, which is about 10 and a half centimeters, depending on what measurements you are used to working with. And then we've got 12 centimeter height, which is about, yeah, four and a bit inches. So height wise, they're really kind of the same. Um, and then depth wise, you can sort of see there. And then obviously length, you've got more length in the mini rectangular. Now I thought we'd play a little what fits in what kind of game. So what fits? Let's crack her open. So let's start with the Chanel mini rectangular. So I'm going to start putting in, I think the zippy card holder. Then we've got the pochette clay with a key. Let's throw that in there. The all important phone. So this is an iPhone 10. So I'll just slide that in. And coin purse. That can fit down the side there. So that is pretty full now. So we've got a pretty good breadth of essentials. And she closes, she's not overstuffed. So we can see if they fit comfortably in the Nano Speedy. So we'll start with the zippy card holder. I'll pop in the pochette clay. Very easily in there. We'll do the phone. So I find with the iPhone 10, you sort of need to go a little bit on an angle, angle, but it's not too bad at all. And then coin purse. And let me tell you, there is actually ample space in there and I can easily retrieve the first item I put in there, which was the card holder. So I think as far as Capacity goes the nano speedy even though smaller in dimensions is definitely more roomy And it's probably got to do with the malleability of the canvas. It's a really beautiful soft canvas So I can even if I wanted to put an extra little card holder in there with ease Guys, that's crazy And it doesn't even look overstuffed That's amazing all of these items in the nano speedy and there is no way I could have gotten that additional card holder in the mini rectangular. So let's talk price. The all important dollar bills because there is a significant difference in price between these two. Um, the Chanel 
mini rectangular currently retails for 5,190 Australian dollars, which is a significant chunk of change for a mini bag. Um, and the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy has also undergone a couple of little price increases and this is now sitting at 1470 Australian dollars. So that is quite a difference. Um, so obviously there is a difference in materials used, there's a difference in even aesthetic, like obviously you've got the turn lock hardware here, you've got the zipper here, you've got I think really the ability to dress this up or down whereas this is very much a casual piece it's a cute little nod to the classic Louis Vuitton Speedy so it's a very different bag in that respect but I know these are really hyped up bags so I thought they'd make a cute little battle um, and as far as which one wins you guys decide because obviously I think there's a place for both of them uh, there is definitely <laughs> I mean, it all comes down to, these are just as hard to get as each other. Um, so it does come down to availability and what really appeals to you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little bag battle. I just thought it would be a really cute idea to battle out the mini bags. Um, I would love to know your thoughts. Does any of you guys own either of these? Have you enjoyed them? Are they on your wish list for Christmas, maybe? Let me know. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.